the localized flooding, one of the big problem spots in southeast Portland, Johnson Creek. That's where Andrew Dimbert is standing by tonight with the latest. Andrew, what's the situation there? Yeah, well, Jeff, you heard Kristen mention it. There. This is the first time we've seen the 40s, the weather in the 40s for the last couple of days. So now all that snow and that ice is starting to melt. And to make matters worse, we're expecting rain. The National Weather Service issuing a flood watch for 7 o'clock tonight, expecting about 1 to 2 inches of rain. Now, the National Weather Service says Johnson Creek, east of 145th, the water here could get as high as 11 feet. It's really the one-two punch of the storm. Neighbors in the area say it's just part of living uh, along the creek. They've got their sandbags ready to go, but still it's a challenging time of the year. I mean, you wouldn't purchase a property on Johnson Creek unless you did your due diligence and really found out what was involved with that and had appropriate flood insurance, which we've done. I've been on my property since 1999, and um, for all these years, I've watched Johnson Creek overflow its banks south to north on our property. And again, that flood watch tonight goes into effect at 7 o'clock as we're expected to see about 1 to 2 inches of rain. For more information, you can always follow us over at coin.com. Reporting along Johnson Creek tonight, Andrew Dimbert for Coin 6 News. Yeah, yeah, and the creeks and the rivers will be muddy and filled with debris as well, as common after we have ice situations like this. Andrew, thank you.